Hey guys, Shalon here. Welcome to The Bin Zone. On today's video, we're gonna be watching Alien. This is my first time watching the original OG 1979 Alien because I'll be frank, the movie came out before I was born, so I never watched it. So this is gonna be my first time. I've seen Prometheus, I've seen Covenant, so I've seen the prequels, so now I'm gonna watch the original. So bear with me, guys. I heard it's pretty scary. Y'all know how I get with scary movies. If you don't know how I get, <laughs> they get to me. So let's just start the movie. These kind of remind me of like old school Star Wars. Granted, this was made around the same time as Star Wars, but just the layout of the ship reminds me of like Star Wars from back in the 70s. So I guess it makes sense. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yes. dead. Yeah. Anybody ever tell you you look dead? <laughs> Is he smoke? Are they smoking a space oh, yeah, station, man. yo? Nah, I just forgot something, man. Bruh. Before we dock. This is pretty cool. They have traffic control in space. That's pretty smart. Like, that's a pretty smart thing to do. SOS. I don't know. Human. Unknown. So what? <laughs> Bruh, if it's unknown, get the fuck out of there, yo. What about the money? If you want to give me some money to do, I'd be happy to. Pay me. I love the black man. Sorry, penalty of total forfeiture of shares. What? Some bullshit. Yeah. All right, we're going in. Yeah, we're going in. Yo, these are pretty cool ass special effects for the seventies. Disengage. Now their systems are fried, right? I've never seen anything like it. Ah, that ship from Prometheus. I see how they tied. I see, I see what they did. How they tied it. I get it. Let's get out of here. That's the first bright idea anyone's ever had. Get the fuck out of there, right? Like, why would you go to a ship? That sends a distress signal again. you have no idea where it comes from in the middle of nowhere in space. Okay, and be me. Holy cheese. That's the. What do they call them? Jesus. The engineers. There you go. Those are the engineers from Prometheus. Yo, this is dope the way they're. Ah. Uh. Exploded from inside. Oh, they were killed by the xenomorphs. The the Let's get the hell out of here. She said it twice already. Now, yeah, I need to get the out of Dodge, yo. Seriously, this is cool and all, but fuck it, I'd be petrified, bro. You don't know what it is. Don't touch it. This isn't proper protocol, bro. Don't touch it. Wait a minute. This movement it seems to have life, organic life. Bro, stop. <laughs> the fuck was that? Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You know the quarantine procedure. 24 hours for decontamination. Listen to me. You can't break protocol. We could all die. Huh? Could you open the goddamn Break hatch? quarantine with, with COVID? <laughs> That's relevant. Don't do it. Don't. I can't do that. And if you were in my position, you'd do the same. Ripley, this is in order. Open that hatch right now. Do you hear me? In the hatch open. What the fuck? Why did he open? Why the fuck did he open it? My God. That's a face hugger thing. How come you guys don't freeze him? 
the black guy coming in clutch again, but no one's gonna listen because fuck the black guy, right? Can eat through the hole. Oh shit, acid. Anything like that except uh, molecular acid. You must be using it for blood. Got a wonderful defense mechanism. Right? Fucking oh, dear, acid dear. blood? What about Cain? Cain? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You okay? I don't trust this guy. Wait a minute, will you? I don't trust anybody. <laughs> What's happening in the repairs? Dallas has a point. He's right. Don't trust nobody. He's eating from an empty bowl. The black guy's eating from nothing. <laughs> What the? Oh, oh no! Don't, don't, oh. don't touch it! Don't touch it! What? Yo, look how big that shit got! Yo, on your flamethrower, bro! On your flamethrower! What the fuck? There is an explanation for this, you know. Beat that nigga! I want to explanation! Oh! I knew he was fucked up! You gonna rape her? So he's a pervert. Oh, what's up with this guy? No, it all makes sense. No wonder he ain't give a fuck about nobody. He let the alien in. He's a robot. Burn him. Yes! 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 Always the black guy. Jones? A fucking cat. It's not even your pet. Forget the fucking cat, bruh. Seriously. You have your lives at stake here. You're worried about a cat that's not even yours. Jones. I'm dead. Now will you leave the fucking cat alone? So they both died because they didn't want to just sacrifice one for the flamethrower? My God! 
Why is that frustrating? Ripley's smart. She got the fuck out of there. Five minutes, you gotta hurry up, bro. You got five minutes. Get to the ship or the shuttle. The cat. The fucking cat again. Two, one. Blew that shit up. Let's go. It's his own cryopod. Luckiest cat in the world, bruh. Whew. Well, guys, that was Alien. That was our first reaction. That was a review um, for a movie that was made in 1979, 40 years ago. It holds up pretty well in 2020, but overall, I liked the movie. It kept me on the edge of my seat. I went in there blind. Like I said, I never saw any of the previous Alien movies. I saw Prometheus and I saw Covenant, but besides that, I never saw the Ripley movies, so I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it holds up pretty well. The suspense was great. The special effects still work, and the overall story is simple. Don't help people out in space. Like, you find the SOS signal and you mind your business. And furthermore, a theme I realized, or something that I realized, a plot point, is that the company that hired them really did not have their best interest in heart. They really just wanted the alien specimen to, I don't know why exactly, based on some of the stuff we know from Prometheus and Alien, is to live longer and understand the adaptability of different aliens. But shit, like the lives of humans matter more, and the way that they died systematically says a lot about the overall big companies don't give a fuck about their employees they just care about their bottom lines and this movie while being a sci-fi adventure could be construed as an evil like or message about the evils of capitalism and what we'll do and what costs we'll pay human lives to reach weapons or monetary gain or the breakthrough of science and discovery all those mean nothing in the comparison to, to achieve all of those human lives mean almost nothing to the big business, big corporations, because if we're going by what we saw in Prometheus and in Alien Covenant, we see that the robots are there as ambassadors of the company to make sure this happens. Speaking of robot, I did not know Ash was a robot. That shit took me off guard. But overall, I like this movie a lot. I will be watching Aliens pretty soon and doing another video like this on Aliens. So guys, if you like this video, definitely hit a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. And until next time, binge on.